ها Welcome, welcome to the big 25th game. As you know, Jack, the right playthrough. Let's see how you do. Which is more important for your job? The coffee machine or the photocopy? Give me the coffee. Ah, addiction. Ever tried stiffing glue? Here, we'll let you into this black pasta. Just skip me the. Just give me the freaking coffee. I don't want any glue. Let's, let's give me the okay, so we're going to floor. Well, the 200 again. So floor 243. So, so back in the 200s again. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture. I see you've turned the 200s to be even better than 300. Could be office, office probably. And now, say hello to your host, Guy Towers. Alrighty, now before we start the show, put that stapler back and nothing more will be said about it, okay? Alright. Fortune 43, office supplies. Office supplies you can handle. Let's do it. Okay. Did they want 64? Jamming in the office supply closet. All right, what do we got here? Hey, 5,164 smackers. Well, are it's we ready? the highest of her to Considering the person who invented liquid paper, which tagline would you expect to see on the little black and liquid white Liquid paper. Bottle? It helps stooges look smarter, so easy monkeys could use it. Correction fluid fit for a prince, or the best replacements for erasers. Liquid paper. Okay. I would guess two. Don't only be a guess. Okay, are we finished? Great. Mike Nesmith of the Monkees? Yeah, his mom invented Whiteout. Yep, she also invented uh, it it's wore Mike. the cap off, but it was banned because it was discovered to have the opposite effect. Eh, uh, nah. It's that bug. This one 5964. Office supplies in the carpal tunnel of love. And away we Kind of an idiotic thing to say. If you drive through the carpal tunnel, how will you pay That'd be numbness in your hand. Symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome include pain or numbness in the hand. Yep. Yeah, carpal tunnel syndrome may take its toll on you, but it hey, I've heard it takes years to recover from change. carpal tunnel syndrome, so... Hit that button. This baby's 2774. My office supplies sexual frustration. Okay, it's time for a little psychoanalysis. Now relax, I'm not going to ask you about your mother. Just listen to this diagnosis and then type in your answer. Subject suffers from feelings of mediocrity in work environment. Subject's necktie is evidence that he is unable to find a suitable outlet to alleviate sexual frustration. What comic strip character's psychological profile is this? I would guess... I would guess Dilbert, actually. Maybe a guess. I guess Dilbert. <laughs> ah, too bad you didn't type this. Dilbert, he's got a flippin' right! Necktie and a mind-numbingly boring job. But I mean, come on. When you got a name like Dilbert, you gotta see stuff like that coming. Alrighty, bud. This or that. I knew the crest of all mouse was gonna be this or that. I've gotten one, I think it was like thirteen hundred dollars at one point for a quick answer, which is completely unheard of. The category for this this or dad is Kleenex versus facial tissue. Okay, I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a trademark or a generic term. Oh, a trademark. So basically, a trademark or a generic name. So this depends on which one is copyrighted or which one is. You got 30 seconds to nail all seven. And we're up. Xerox, trademark. Trademark. Uh, generic. Highlighter. Uh, Scotch tape. Trademark. Liquid paper. Trademark. Magic marker. Trademark. Rolodex. Trademark. It's kind of like it was all seven are actually trademark. That's about average. Hmm. There's actually one in the last Let's goal see, where it's all sex more. it's all sex toys for some reason. I forgot what the category is, so. Huh. Nine thirty three. And it's gonna be called Knights that go beep. Ready, set, here you go. 
If you worked in an office during medieval times a and were a page, which of these would you be getting? A bitchin' guitarist, a helpful young boy, a book, or land from the king? Hey, be a young boy. A page is a young boy who becomes a servant to a knight with the purpose of being trained to become a knight. Yeah. May I groom thine horse, sir? Nay, thou hast not completed the collating of yon documents. Look, okay, number six. All right, so the category 1362. is... 1362. DKNY Blue. Okay. Here's the question. If DKNY releases a new fashion line called CMYK, what will be special about this season's trendy new Donna look? Karen it'll look New York. like a cosmonaut, only four colors will be hip, it'll make you feel virtually naked or plastic plastic I think that plastic. DKNY means Donna Karen New York. So, C Y C. I guess one, only be a guess. The correct answer is... CMYK stands for Cyan, Magenta, Yellow, and Black. It's a common computer color model which creates all colors out of these four. Yeah, next thing you know, gangs of Cyan and Magenta clad urban youth will be vandalizing neighborhoods. And looking good doing it. Oh, that buzz. 747. Seven. <laughs> 747. Oh, well, it's gonna be called... Every time the phone rings, an angel gets Which is a parody of the famous quote from a it's a Ready? Christmas line. Check out this note that was scrawled out on a phone message pad. While you were out, Bailey building a loan called regarding your plan to ruin them financially. Please return call before Christmas Eve. That'd be Mr. Scrooge, isn't it? Looks like your pile of cash is getting tinier, Tim. Not quite as tiny as you expect. Are you that. telling me you've never seen It's a Wonderful Life? I've never I have and never looked. The guy who almost sends George Bailey over the edge. I've never watched it. It's one flat. I probably never will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Potter, this is George Bailey calling again. You know, I just wanted to say that no man is a failure who has friends. You know, I may not have the nicest house or the or, or the fanciest car, or I, 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 I say, is that job offer still good? Hit your buzzer. And Sauerkraut schnitz and Gruben. No. Oh. Gibberish question. We're not it's doing another one of the... oh, Great. Gibberish. Great. Excellent. Good job. Okay, the real category for this gibberish question is. Quit staring at my feet. Don't forget, the sooner you buzz okay. in, the more cash you'll get. Okay, listen to this and tell me what kid's game it rhymes with. Sock gaper is hers. Rock, Not paper, scissors. Yeah, at least in my day we played rock, paper, scissors. Now it's probably concrete email cell phone. Yeah, I won't go that far to say that. How much of this? And the category is... Manila Wayfarers. Here comes the questione. Say that to avoid paying import prices, you decide to go directly to Manila to get Manila... The Philippines. Manila is the capital of the Philippines. And if you can get a flight over there for like 30 cents, I'll bet you'll still save at least a dime. How much cash? 830. <laughs> no, well, here's the category. What kind of necklace? Questions coming. If you give your girlfriend a pink pearl necklace, what will she have pink around pearl. her neck? Pink highlighters, correction fluid, glue, or erasers? A pink pearl. Pink pearl. I guess it'd be an race. Yeah, I thought so. Pink Pearl is a brand of rubber erasers. And we all know where that pink pearl necklace came from, don't we? That's right. Out of the end I don't of think so. Not in my neighborhood. Alright, but nice. Not too shit. 95 20. Right, the category on this one is. My computer smells like cow. All right, peel your eyes open and see if you can figure out this analogy question. Gateway is to 2000 as Bono is to Vox, John Cougar is to Mellencamp, Madonna is to Gateway 2000. Sonny is to Cher. Gateway to Microsoft 2000. Gateway to Microsoft 2000 would probably be Bono and Vox. Well, I would have picked this one. The computer company Gateway used to be called Gateway 2000, and Bono from U2 was originally called Bono Vox. Now, if U2 would just do an overblown, overpriced... And that was a very... I was seeing for some reason Bono Vox. In a motif, I've never heard of Gateway... I've heard of Gateway Computer, but I haven't seen one in any... Okay. 
in recent times. And for your viewing pleasure, that's some pencil you got there. Ready? Let's pretend this. You're taking the SAT, and rather than using the required number two pencil, you insist on using a number 200B pencil. If you could acquire such a pencil, what would be the most likely result? You dent the desktop under your test booklet, your test booklet would look like mud, your test booklet would appear unmarked, your pencil. test booklet would be extremely beige. The test booklet would. The 200B pencils. I don't know this one. On pencils, the letter B used after a number indicates blackness. The higher the number before it, the softer the pencil. So a 200B would have the consistency of muddy diarrhea. That was quick, actually. Is that buzzer? How to be the quickest transition I've ever seen from a question to the next one, so... Do you ever jack attack me? Alright, get your pen in hand and get ready for this clue. Whose pen? Not my pen. My pen's right here. Could and be pen right companies. Pen. Hello, pen. Hello. Hello. Hello, guys. Bye. Oh, uh, uh, good luck. Just the coal. Sean. So it's about original names of guys with pen in it. Famous Quaker. That'd be, uh, William Penn. Famous magicians, that'd be, uh, Penn and Teller. Famous, that'd be, uh, Pig Pen, isn't it? TV's Laverne, that'd be, uh, Penny Marshall. I never watched Laverne show it though, so. King Arthur's dead, that'd be, uh, Looped up in the ground. Okay, seventh and final. Well, all the Kingsmen. That'd be, uh. Well, that'd be Duck, not Duck. Robert Penn Warren. So, six out of seven, I will take. So, very close to a perfect one, so I'll take. Man, almost perfect. Well, nobody's perfect, especially you. 31, 3, 34. Thanks for watching.